We're here at Riverdale Y, where Congressman Richie Torres is here to address the historic rise of anti-Semitic hate and how he plans on making the community a better place. The ADL Anti-Defamation League, New York, New Jersey Regional Chapter, local elected officials, and members of the Jewish faith community wanted to address the findings of a new alarming report documenting historic levels of anti-Semitic prejudice in America. Congressman Richie Torres wanted to give us a little insight. So the purpose of our event is to raise awareness about anti-Semitism in our society. The ADL has released a report that reveals the breadth and depth of anti-Semitic belief in our society. And beliefs matter because beliefs can morph into violence. You cannot separate anti-Semitic violence from the beliefs that inspire it. So the ADL found that 85% of Americans, a staggering 85%, hold at least one anti-Semitic belief, and 20% of Americans hold six or more anti-Semitic beliefs. And so that is a wake-up call that we all must do more to ensure that anti-Semitism is fought at every turn and in every form. So if you're wondering how the data is developed on the rise of anti-Semitism, we spoke to regional director of ADL, Scott Richmond, who tells us how he came up with these numbers. Since 1964, we had for many years seen a downward trend in anti-Semitic attitudes that Americans held. Unfortunately, this survey reversed that and we, we saw it rise, rise considerably. We put out 11 of those to uh, a random sampling of uh, more than 4,000 Americans who filled out this survey and we found that 20 percent of them believe in six or more of these 11 tropes, which is astounding. That's 66 million Americans. And if we compare it, the most recent survey we did was in 2019. It was four years ago before the pandemic, and that number was 11%. So it has almost jumped in these four years, uh, doubled, uh, almost doubled rather, in, in these four years, and that's extremely troubling. There is absolutely no room for hate, and the only way to tackle that is making sure children are aware of what's out there and making schools feel safe. I spoke to the principal of SAR Academy in Riverdale, Rabbi Benny Krause, who wanted to shed some light on this topic. And as I mentioned, we now have um, 50 of 50 eighth graders from the local charter school together with all of our eighth graders learning together about about the Holocaust, interviewing survivors, and learning about learning about hate and things that lead to hate. So we, we do think it's about education. We also think it's about elected officials standing up for what's right um, and and crying when, when, when you need to cry. And that's what really what we believe in, and that's what we're trying to do, obviously. It's also important for us to, for our kids to know that they're growing up in a place that is safe, and I believe that they are. For more information on Congressman Richie Torres' next meetings, you can visit his website at richietorres.house.gov. Reporting for BronxNet, Chanel Thompson.